Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create these really cool Instagram story templates in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I will also be using Canva um, for this tutorial, but obviously you don't have to use Canva. You just want to use some app, whether it's Final Cut, Photoshop, or Canva, to basically create the background. So I'm just, I'm just using Canva to create the background. Uh, but again, you don't have to use Canva, but in this instance, for this example, I'm going to use Canva, and I'll make sure to put the link down um, in the description down below. Now, I'm not sponsored at all by Canva. I just want you know, just, to just let you know. But Canva is just my choice when it comes to kind of like graphic design. Just creating some really quick and easy um, graphics. So when I go in the search bar, a couple recommendations I would uh, type up would be YouTube outro or YouTube end screen. I find these two searches result in like uh, the best you know background templates. But you can go ahead you know and, uh, search whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and type up YouTube. Um, end screen right here in my opinion. I just feel like you get the best so easy right here Here are a whole bunch of really cool templates now Unfortunately, you can't use every single one of these uh, because some of them don't uh, some of them do cost money But this one is completely free. So I'm gonna go over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up um, Canva open up another window in Canva. So you can see right here I'm gonna go over create design and I'm gonna head over here to Instagram story right here So I just need the dimensions for the Instagram story right here And then as you can see right here, so you can go over here to elements templates Add whatever background you want or a really cool tip that I found is I can go ahead and actually just copy stuff over so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on command C and then command V I can actually just paste um, all these assets over which I think is a really cool idea so you can see right here I'm gonna go ahead and kind of recreate the one that I showed um, or that I, uh, that I will show in the iPhone or in my screen recording but as you can see right here it's a really cool idea that you can literally just take these assets and then as you can see right here I can just copy them right into the project which I think is a really cool idea you can do this or you can you know have your own um, you, you know you search up your own stuff or you can you know, create your own thing in Photoshop or whatever it doesn't really, you know, really matter what you end up doing I just want to show you an example right here so you can see right here here is a very you know basic one so we'll just call this IG um, story um, background right here uh, let's go over here to back uh, I think that's how you spell background, whatever. Let's do background right here. And then you can see what's going to like zero, zero, 001, just, just to keep track of the name right here. So as you can see right here, here is the background. Here is the name of the background right here. Let's head over here to download right here. I would suggest using PNG. So let's go ahead and click download right here. So as you can see right here, I'm just downloading it as a .png image. They may ask, okay, how do you get that transparent background? Well, you're going to need Final Cut or I believe Photoshop. Basically, now you're going to need a program that can create a transparent background, and, and Final Cut actually can do that. Now, I've already made a video going over how to create a transparent um, background um, in Final Cut, but I'm just going to kind of use those same uh, techniques. So let's go over here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project um, right here. So I'll go ahead and call this um, IG um, Story Background right here. Uh, we'll, we'll just, you know, just, uh, we'll just call this... Um, transparent right here Tran I think it's how you spell transparent transparent right here zero zero one what you know do is kind of a crazy name um, right there so I'll go over head over here format we want to uh, keep on vertical and then resolution there we go I don't frame rate doesn't really matter that much but as you can see right here what I would also do is make sure the rendering is on Apple ProRes 444 so you can see right here Apple ProRes 444 that basically will make sure that the background is transparent and we can just name it a uh, standard uh, rec 709 so you can see right here and of course if it doesn't work right here so let's head over here to modify and then you can see Apple ProRes 444 Four, four. There's the codec right there. You want to make sure um, it's that right here. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and just import the background right here. So let's go ahead and find it. And then as you can see, here's the background um, right here. So let's go ahead and just import this in a final cut um, right here. Now what you want to do next is head over here um, to masks. And then we're going to go over here and go over to shape mask because it's much easier you know, to, to create um, you know, a, a cutout. Uh, right there, so we'll go over and head over right here. So let's go ahead and change the curvature to zero, change the feather um, to zero right there. And then what I would do is I would change the scale to like maybe like 15 um, percent right there. And then let's head over here to invert mask and voila. There we go. So as you can see right here, here's a little hole right here that you're going to use um, later on. 
as you can see right here you want that uh, hole right there and unfortunately final Cut doesn't actually show like that trans that you know generic transparent background so you don't you know, actually you know see it right there but as you can see there we go let's head over here to export right here and then save current frame um, dot png right here so you want to make sure the export file is in dot png so png image because that makes the uh, that makes it transparent um, right there so let's go ahead and save it right here and there's a couple things to make sure that you know it's uh, done correctly so let's head over here wait for it to um, render and as you can see right here there it goes you can see right here here is this little white uh, uh, square right there and that means uh, it works so let's go ahead and just import it right here so as you can see right here let's just go ahead and import it um, uh, import it right there so I think this is the right file I realized I probably shouldn't have named it exactly the same so import selected right here and as you can see right here IG story background transparent 001 so let's go ahead and I'll just you know put uh, this background right here uh, for my um, as you can see right here, here it is right here. So let's just go ahead and just make sure the background is transparent. As you can see right here, there you go. The background is completely transparent right there. So you can see right here, just to show you um, that the background um, actually is transparent. There we go, the background um, is transparent um, right there. I actually, you know, actually want you to prove that it actually um, is transparent. But the most important thing right here, if I click on that, over here is you want to make sure you're using Apple Pro is 444 and you want to make sure you export the video or the, the photo as a dot PNG um, image and then obviously you know, use a, a draw mask a shape mask whatever to create a little cutout um, right there now you want to do is you want you want to airdrop this to your phone share it on Google Drive we transfer however you want to get this to your phone that's basically the next step um, right there is now just to get this uh, photo directly or, or share it directly to your phone now once you're on Instagram, what you want to do is you want to just go over to that little airplane um, icon or that share icon on your Instagram post and you'll see you'll show, it'll show up on your Instagram stories. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to your um, photos app, you want to go ahead and just copy the photo uh, right there, so just copy this photo over here and then go back um, to your, your Instagram, don't close out any of the apps, go back to your Instagram right there and you'll see in the bottom left right there it'll be like a sticker, so it'll just be like add sticker, click on that right there and as you can see right there it just pops up on the screen right here and then what you of course you can do this with multiple you know different stickers you can add tons of different stickers uh, to your Instagram story now what you want to do is you want to just adjust the background in the photo as you can see it took a little bit of, it took, took a little bit of time to get it right you want to just mess around click on the different ones you want you you also want to use two fingers to zoom in and zoom out but basically this is just you know you just messing around and getting the look that you want as you can see it definitely took a long time to get it it definitely takes you know a good 20 30 seconds to, to you know to kind of just adjust things but it does work as you can see right there here's kind of the final um, results and it definitely does take a little bit of time and then of course all you want to do is just click on send on your Instagram story and then voila you now have a really cool custom background um, for your Instagram stories so no more of that you know ugly gradient background you have these really cool you can now create custom backgrounds um, in Final Cut Pro 10 which is really cool for your Instagram stories looks a lot better than that you know that really hideous um, gradient background that uh, Instagram does Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you do these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, I have a playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.